The following report contains some disturbing images. The Cape Flats, notorious for gang wars and drugs. It has one of the highest murder rates in the world. In Hanover Park alone, 20 gangs vie for territory, and yet thousands of people call this place home. Craven Angle Ceasefire Project works with former gangsters to defuse tension on the streets. But it is a high risk area, gunfire every day, and altercations every day, and high risk activity on the streets every day. Got shot, yeah. Nigel Davids is desperate to get out. His life of violence and drugs has taken its toll. My friends, most of them got shot dead and most of them are in prison. I was also in prison and things are not getting better. While some shootings are intentional, others are purely victims caught in the crossfire. Eight-year-old Ziad George was on his way to the shops on a Sunday morning when a stray bullet ended up in his spine, he will be disabled for life. Another victim, 18-year-old Suleiman Jacobs was about to take a bus to school when a gang war erupted. He is paralyzed from the waist down. It's already being filtered in the shot spotter. Now technology may help to reduce the carnage on Hanover Park streets. Audio sensors in the area are linked to a central GPS system that plot gunfire as it happens, allowing both the police and the ceasefire project to intervene. The shoot has been shooting from that particular area. But traditional policing methods remain effective. After a tip-off, two unlicensed firearms are found in a rented back room. Their owners nowhere to be seen. The owners of the house rejoice. That night, the gangsters return. They are both shot. He dies, tragically. Another patrol, another stop and search. The police have been on patrol for several hours now here in Hanover Park, but it seems to be a quiet night. But in communities such as this one, the situation can change at any moment. Despite the many efforts, Young people here still face a life of fear and danger. Dom Samasego, BBC News, Cape Town.